I take these videos and this camera, it's hard to get this camera on a direct shot because it's off to the side. It's not straight on. So I don't know. I just got to get used to that camera. So like, anyway, I just have a little rant that I'm going to make. And that is like, what the hell is going on with the media and like all these entertainment industry and stuff like everything you look at uh, everyone looks unhappy like everyone looks unhappy and angry like what the fuck is going on with the entertainment industry it's like I mean everything is just like gloom and doom it looks terrible and um you can't even i don't even watch it um like so yeah i'm ranting about that the entertainment industry it is i i like can't even watch it's so neurotic and like it's hard on the nerves it's like it's just there's nerves going all the time you know it's just ugh, what the hell is going on and the other thing is uh you know sports and i just feel like you can't even root for your own home team anymore. Uh, like, it's even in sports, everything is politically correct. And you, your own home team, the players aren't even from your own home city. You know? They're, so you got these players, they're from different cities. And... You can't even, like, what's the logic of not rooting for your own home team? I don't get that. It's just, like, basic logic. Logic is very simple. You know, you have a premise, and then you have another premise, and you have to make sure that they match each other, and that's called logic. You know, it's real simple. It's, like... Okay, let's make sure that's a fact. And then we'll go down to the next thing and make sure that's a fact. And then we can get to a conclusion, you know. So the logic, I don't get the logic of these people, you know, of what's going on. So that's my little rat. Um, and I just feel like communication is not... You know, whoever is this centralized power behind the scenes, they're not communicating. You know, I get the impression, I could be wrong, that there's an inside group who are in the know of, you know, certain information. Um, but there's, you know, a large majority who are left in the dark. And we're, there, we don't have open lines of communication we don't have transparency um and personally actually i think universally communication is you know it's about it's a part of philanthropy you know to communicate is to be a philanthropist and uh, to not communicate is you know uh it's not it's not a nice thing to do so i don't know who doesn't communicate you know um communication is about enlightenment and we all want to be enlightened so that's another rant that i'm going through and i want to talk about it um you know, and luckily, hopefully, it's still a free country. I mean, uh, do, do we have freedom of speech anymore? 
you know. And like, uh, yeah, so uh, the other thing is this, um, you know, people don't speak up because you know everyone has to make a paycheck and play along to get their money to get the paycheck so we get the situation where no one can really you know voice out their concerns and the wealthy the people at the top controlling everything are um you know kind of dictating the terms and you know it's turned into a monopoly situation there's all this uh you know money in politics in the u.s and you know i think um so i don't know what the word is for people is there a word for people who just play along to get rewards you know they uh follow the crowd just to get the rewards and reap the benefits and even if that means um not speaking up about things that you know aren't really healthy uh i don't know what that word is i haven't been able to find that i think there's a word for that um but that's the other thing you know we, i think it's important to communicate and be clear about border security and immigration and you know make it i think each citizen and representative should you know do a vote and you know come get come to a number or a cap for what the number is you know so everyone knows what it is and because it uh border security is directly related to happiness and harmony you look at the states and it's very polarized um the media is pretty toxic and um there's you know it's, it's there's some problems um it's a big country so it's a different thing there's you know lots of money there and if you have a good idea or, or the right education and skills you can get uh you can do quite well but it's big country and to me the best situation is to have a situation where you have nature in its pristine environment you know prime for example we in new zealand here we have bush running right down to the coastline i mean wild bush just running right down to the beach in addition we have all the first world amenities on tap you know all the comforts of the first world are on tap ready for our use but we have nature in its raw form which is the best because you see nature doing its you know nature uh expressing itself and nature is connected to the universe um and there's no peace like it you know no peace it's priceless you cannot put a price on that kind of peace so you get these overpopulated regions of the world and it's just we you know we lose our connection to nature and unfortunately that's not a good scenario um the peace of nature is surpasses everything it's priceless you cannot put a price on that um but comfort yeah comfort comfort that's definitely a great time to be alive that's for sure that's amazing everybody you know this glow this economy uh so there's you know 
nature and with these companies. Uh, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else. I forgot what else I was going to say. But, you know, it's, yeah, it's good to be cognizant of it. And we do need, you know, uh, we always need to be keep the conversation going. You know? Keep the conversation open. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, let me know what you're thinking. I want to know what you're thinking about this. So, uh, don't be shy. And a good idea, if you don't want your boss to see what you're writing, just put your first name on your profile. And so, you know, or make up a name so that you could be anonymous. Uh, because you might not want your boss looking at, like, your online activity or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs>